Hi guys, today's video is going to be a fun review video of the Chloe Ting resistance bands. I've gotten a few questions on what are they like, are they good quality, so I'm going to talk about them today. I don't have anything to compare them to. I don't have any other equipment really to compare them to. I have used uh, resistance therabands like the rubber kind, but they're not attached like in the loop. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So I ordered these resistance bands not too long ago. I paid for them with my own money. I am not getting paid to talk about them. I genuinely love Chloe Ting and her exercises. You guys know that if you follow my workout journey. Um, I've been doing her workouts for a while now and I learned not too long ago that she had resistance bands so I wanted to give them a try and they're just awesome. So if you guys want to just get to the chase, I say they're totally worth it. Um, but if you want to stick around and hear some juicy details, then stick around. Um, I'm not really gonna spill any like juicy stuff. I don't know why I said that. They come in this bag, which is really cute. It has little Chloe doing a butt workout exercise. I don't really even know a thrust exercise. I have no idea what it's really called. It's a little uh, drawing of her. And then it's this tan bag. It looks kind of like a beach bag sort of material. It's like a canvas material so it's really good quality honestly when you feel the bag itself it's really good quality like it's not super thin they are around 67 us dollars i do believe i will link them down below if you want to purchase them but you get three resistance bands in a pack it comes with this pink one and this is one of my favorite colors. I love the light pink. Then it comes with this teal blue color and I love this color too. Kind of reminds me of my high school I went to because our colors were like teal and purple. And then last but not least, we have a purple one. So this is a more of a lilac-y purple color. And honestly, they're so well made. I don't know what they're made out of really. And their colors all complement each other, which I really like. I don't know if Chloe Ting did that on purpose, probably but they all look great. Also, because I mention this in almost all my videos because I have a sensitive nose, they smell kind of good. I don't know what they smell like. I can't really describe it, but they smell like new. I don't know, <laughs> but they don't smell weird at all. Um, honestly, I kind of like the smell. It doesn't smell rubbery either. So if you're concerned about like a rubber smell, I don't believe that they smell like rubber. They just smell new. That's what I can describe it as. It's it's kind of like a, um, a clean smell. One of the other products I reviewed kind of had this certain smell. It kind of smelled like vinegar. So they don't have any strong smell. So if you're concerned about that, these are really good if you have a sensitive nose because they don't smell weird or anything. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys, all of them say keep thrusting on little uh, black band here. They say keep thrusting and this pink one is the lightest level of resistance. So it's like really easy to just do this with. Um, at first, I started off with this one, obviously. At first, it was really hard. If you've never worked with any like resistance bands or anything, these are challenging. Um, but then I got used to it and then I moved up a level, which I shared with you guys in my Chloe Ting update challenge video last week. Yeah, last Friday. And yeah, so if you've never worked with anything like this, definitely start off with the easier one because you don't wanna be like struggling. So the next level, I believe, I could be wrong, but they feel kind of similar, but anyway. So the next level of resistance that I chose to do, I don't know if this is the most advanced one, but I think it's the middle one. It's this blue color. It's definitely a lot harder than the pink version. So um, again, it just has the keep thrusting little black tab here. Moving on to the purple. I honestly think the purple one is the middle level of resistance. And I think I just got them mixed up. That's embarrassing, but I guess I'm now on the blue version because I've been using this one for the past two like booty slash butt workouts. So this must be the middle level of resistance and this must be the hardest. I'm no professional when it comes to this stuff, but this is the middle level of resistance. I can actually feel it. Um, I should start using this one, but it is just the lilac color and I'm just repeating myself. So I'm gonna get into kind of the cons with these. The first con, I haven't really experienced myself, but apparently there was a quality control issue or something. But I remember 
posting these on my story and then Chloe Ting herself, because I tagged her, uh, sent me this message and she was like, oh, if you find any like defects with it or anything is wrong with it, let me know. Um, and then we'll like replace them or something because in the past, I believe they had some quality issues. So that was really nice of her to share with me. If you guys, I guess, have any issues, just message her and she'll um, get you to the right person. They're probably like customer service or anything to get your resistance bands replaced. So I guess they did have quality control issues in the past, but I think they're fixed because I don't see anything wrong with mine. I've used these two so far and I've not experienced anything like no threads are coming undone. Um, they didn't like break at all. So overall, I'm happy with my purchase and there's nothing wrong with them. The next thing I wanted to address is their price. They are a bit pricey. They're about like $67, but you get all three of them, right? And you get this cute bag and you're supporting Chloe Ting because I'm sure she gets like commission or whatever if you buy these. Hopefully she does. I don't know that for a fact. You get three of them, so technically they're not that expensive, but I didn't really realize that when I was on the website. So I thought I was over here buying like one resistance band for like $67 and I was like, okay, I'll see how it is. But then I was like, oh, you get three. And I do think they are worth the price because they aren't rubber. I mean, there's clearly like rubber in them to give them like elasticity. Yeah, there, there's definitely like rubber in them, but they're covered by this fabric, which is really nice. So it doesn't like rub against your skin if you're working out in shorts or anything. It won't be hard on your skin or, or clothes or anything like that. They're just really good quality, like they're thick. Just like how I was telling you about the bag, like this feels just overall, like if you were to pull it, like it would definitely not rip. Just like these, they are very well made. I don't feel like they're just gonna poop out on me when I'm working out. So I definitely think they're worth the price, but that could be a con if you don't wanna spend a lot of money. And then the third thing is when I work out. I got this question a few times when I was working out with them, but someone asked, do they move while you're doing the exercises? Kind of, but kind of not. Does that make sense? So I will put some B-roll on the screen. When I do the workout, you can see when I raise my leg, it shifts a little bit up my thigh and that is kind of normal. But when I keep on doing the exercise and like raising my leg to that level or whatever, the resistance band stays there. So it's not moving all over the place. It's really moving when I first move my leg, but once it knows where on my thigh it wants to move to, it stays there. That is pretty much the only like cons about these things. Again, I don't have a lot to compare them to because these are the only ones I have. They seem to be fine for me and I'm supporting a creator that I genuinely really like and I want to support. So do I think they're worth it? Yes, I do. That's to answer the question. You know, it just took a few minutes to get to the verdict. Highly recommend the Chloe Ting workout bands if you're looking for that. That is pretty much it for this video. If there's anything else you want me to review or recommend that you really, really like, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.